Hello, everyone. Uh, <clears throat> I'm getting sick. Well, here's what happened to me this weekend. Let me turn this music down. On Friday, I went to the store with my boyfriend, who fucking irritates me to no end. He's a fungus I can't get rid of. Okay. Irks me. Anyways, we go to the store. I come back home. I go in the attic. I give my grandbaby what I said I was going to buy him. I'm coming down the stairs. I fall down a flight of stairs. My leg went back. Okay. And I thought I broke my foot. Oh, my God. It was the most excruciating pain I ever felt in my life. <clears throat> <clears throat> and, um, he, um, so he's yelling at me and my grandson. He thought my grandson, my, my grandson thought he was yelling at him. I told Angel, I said, no, I told my daughter, no, he was yelling at me because I fell. And like I told him, motherfucker, I, I, the lights broke. I couldn't fucking see. But then after a while, he felt bad. I'm in the room, I'm crying, my ankle is swollen to no fucking end. Oh, it hurts so bad. He iced it up for me. And uh, so Saturday, I went to urgent care. And I knew it wasn't broke because I could walk on it. But I wanted to, I wanted to make sure because the top of my foot, it felt like I broke all my bones in the top of my foot. And uh, so he goes, he told me that it wasn't broke. He goes, he goes, it is the worst spraying he's ever seen. Okay? So now, I forget to ask him for a doctor's note. Okay? So, I go back there today. Because my dad told me he would pay me to be out. And, um, which he doesn't have to do. And he already knows that. And, um, so then, I go there. They give me a note for today said I was seen there today and I'm like what I wasn't seen there today so I told my dad I said I'm gonna come over and I said and I'm gonna um I'm gonna alter it my boyfriend goes you're going to jail you're gonna I said um I'm just gonna change the dates but I'm not gonna do that you know because it's gonna take too much time and I don't got no I don't got time for that. So, I'm just going to go home, go, go to work. I went to work um, yesterday and I was in fucking agony. Agony. You know, and I'm like, this doctor must not realize what the fuck I do every day. You know, I don't sit down. I'm not at a desk. I'm running around in a fucking run, a store all day long the fuck out of here man listen and then my boyfriend you know he 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 pisses me off sometimes you know when someone gets hurt and they're and and they're fucked up whatever he don't care not that he doesn't care but i'm like he wants people to baby him when he gets hurt or he gets fucked up bitch no like when he got shot oh my god i wanted to fucking strangle him i told him i said i'm leaving you know, because he was just so darn nasty, you know. And he's like, he's almost crying. Then I felt bad. And he told his sister, he goes, she's going to leave me alone. And I said, well, I'm not going nowhere. I said, but you're not going to talk to me this way. You know, and his sister told him too. But anyways, that's beside the point. You know, when I'm hurting, bitch, I fucking helped you when you got shot. You know, all I did was sprain my foot. And, and you helped me a couple days, and now you act like you can't do nothing. Okay. Okay. Fucking bitch. I called him a motherfucking bitch the other day. You know? Oh, oh he pissed me off. And I told him how much. I said, I can't fucking stand you. I just, I can't stand you. You know, I just want to punch you in the face. You know? But, no, this MF, you know, he thinks it's all good and gravy. No, 
No. I got to go to the, um, this place for my son. You know, I haven't been sleeping well at all. At all. Um, <clears throat> the past couple nights I've been freezing. I mean, freezing. I'm in there. I'm shivering. You know, and my boyfriend, you know, he's like, damn. He goes, what's wrong? I'm like, I'm sad. I'm so cold. You know, but, you know. I'm like, no. I try to sleep. I tried to take a nap today. Everybody was texting me. And I'm like, you know. So then I just finally got up and took a shower. I'm like, fuck this. I'm like, let me just go get his shit from this place. You know, because they bought him they bought him Christmas gifts. From the um program he went through through Habitat. You know, so I'm getting my own house. Fuck Habitat. That's all I got to say is fuck them. They give you a line of crap. They tell you, oh, well, you can't do this and you can't do that. And I'm like, the fuck out of here. I'm going to do what I want to do. You motherfuckers is crazy. No, nope, but it's all good, though. It's all good. You know, it's it, I shouldn't say fuck Habitat. It's a good program for people who can't afford to buy a house. You know, now in 2022, I'm buying a house. I'm buying my brother's. I can't wait. I was supposed to get it next next year. And uh, then my dad gave me the, sad, the bad news and said, they're not leaving until 2022 when my nephew graduates from college. I was like, okay, you know, I get that. All right. Uh, but I'm like, oh no. Yep. I'm like, so whatever. I'm, I'm just dragging and dragging and talking. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just so tired. Um, my foot is aching. Um, you know, then I got to go to court with my boyfriend tomorrow, you know, because my fucking daughter put a warrant out for his arrest, that dumb bitch, you know, this is the shit that happens every day in my fucking life, you know, and I, there's days I wish I could just, you know, punch a bitch in the fucking face, you know, I'm tired, you know, and I'm like, I'm not, I'm not helping I'm not helping her no more I'm not doing nothing I'm not doing shit for nobody because nobody does shit for me you know and I mean <clears throat> you know then my son goes oh can you take me to work tomorrow I gotta be there at eight you know what the fuck makes you think I want to get up at 6 30 <sighs> I'm over it I'm gonna take him tomorrow you know because I don't want him taking the bus you know and but mm -mm, I just, I can't, I can't do it. I can't do it no more. You know, I'm tired, you know, and I mean, I love my kids. Don't get me wrong. I love them to death, but I'm not, I'm not going to keep, no, I can't, you know, I'm going to tell them, you know, I can't keep doing this crap. You know, and then I went, then I feel like they're rushing me and I'm like, don't rush me. You know what I mean? Don't tell me what to do. Don't say, oh, well, can, um, I need this done. Can you do this? Can you? No, no. So, but that's the story of my poor, sad little life. When, oh, and I caught my daughter today. Today's her birthday. So I said, happy birthday. And her boyfriend's parents were there. You know, and I told her, I said, oh my God. Because my doctor, I'm so pissed off. He fucking retired and didn't say anything. Didn't 
say, oh, you know, send a letter, you know, like my rheumatologist did. He sent a letter saying, you know, there was stuff going on in his family and he had to take care of one of his loved ones. He sent a letter out. My doctor? No, he didn't send shit. I didn't know he retired until I tried to call him today. And I was like, um, are you serious? Are you fucking serious? I don't have a doctor now. Now I got to hunt around for a fucking doctor. You know? Oh. I hate my fucking nails. Every time I turn around, they're cracking, they're breaking. It just irritates me. You know, but my daughter called my grandson's tablet. And my grandson goes, oh, well, Tina doesn't want to come over. She doesn't want to come over here. I said, well, she's not welcome here. I don't give a fuck. The fuck did you, what? She goes, well, he misses the girls. And he goes, Grandma, can I? I'm like, no. Hell no. That bitch don't know how to treat you. Hell no. She treats him like shit. And then you, you want to see him? Man, get the fuck out of here. Get out of here with all that bullshit. Because don't nobody want to hear that. You know. I told him. I said nope. You could stay right here with grandma. Where I know nobody's going to put their hands on you. Nope. Nope. And I told him no. He got upset. He was crying. And then his mother told him. He goes, she goes. I'm not going over there David. No. She did she did too much and David asked me too and I told him no. I said no, you're not going over there. You know? So all right, I'm about to go cuz now I'm just rambling and uh I don't feel good. So that was the story of my life on Friday. You know? And then, you know, I told my job, I said my leg is really aching. It's really hurting me. I said it's hurting me to stand. Oh, well, we'll send you on break in a little while. Break? No, bitch. I want to go the fuck home. The fuck you mean? So, you know what? I'm just going to grin and bear it. You know what I'm saying? And um, deal with, you know, the pain of my foot. And it's it's all black and blue, you know. And so, it's whatever. So, but I will talk to you another time.